To illustrate the use of object snap tracking, I'm going to draw the front view of this bracket in orthographic projection using object snap tracking to transfer information from the top view into the front view. I'm going to start by looking at my object snap settings and I have endpoint, midpoint, center, quadrant, intersection, tangent, and perpendicular turned on and object snap tracking is on. So I'm going to start a line and I want to find this tangent or quadrant point and track that down to establish the line for the bottom of my front view. For the length of the line I'll track from the end of that arc and then I can go up. I know the height is 5 8 Tracking this direction it's going to be the same length as this bottom line so I can track that up click and then come down and snap it closed. I'm going to start another line and I'm going to track from this quadrant down to the intersection here. I know that this line is 7 eighths. For my tracking distance across I'm going to pick up my quadrant point on this side of that circle, click and now perpendicular to the top line. To apply the hidden lines, I'm going to change my layer to the hidden line layer. I'm going to get a line and track from the quadrant of this hole down into the front view. From the other quadrant point, I'll track down, click on the intersection, perpendicular. From this quadrant down, intersection perpendicular quadrant point intersection perpendicular I also have a hole going all the way through the center so from this quadrant I'll track down to this intersection and perpendicular quadrant point intersection and perpendicular so with the use of object snap tracking, I can accurately and quickly transfer information from one view to another when I'm doing orthographic projection.